Welcome to Time is Money, a series where I am time restricted to receive a specific unique item in old school RuneScape. The time limit is dependent on the value of said item. Items worth 1 to 10 million adds 1 hour per million up to 10 hours. Above 10 to 100 million adds an additional 10 minutes per million. And lastly, anything above 100 million adds 1 minute per million. If I do not manage to get the item within its time limit, I have to buy the item instead and give it away to one of you guys, the viewers. So let's see what today's item is going to be. The item of this video is going to be the Tanzanite Fang, which is worth 3.6 million, meaning we have 3 hours to get this item. The timer has been put on the screen right now, and we're going to be gearing up first, and then after that, when I'm at Solra, we're going to start the timer. As I have a Twisted Bow and Masori, I think I'm just going to stick with ranged, I'm also bringing Thralls, and it's been a while since I did Solra, but it really is not that difficult of a boss if you have all this gear, so it should be quite a lot of kills per hour. Also, I did move the timer, you can see I have it over my inventory instead, I think it looks a bit better there, and it's not blocking my chat. But let's go ahead and start the timer, and from now on, I have 3 hours to get the Tanzanite Fang, otherwise I have to buy it and give it to one of you guys. That is officially the timer started. I think this is going to be the first kill of the video. The Twisted Bow really is good. I mean, even camping this with no other switches, 130. Yeah, there is a reason this Twisted Bow is 1.2 billion GP right now. And Missouri also does help quite a lot. Oh my god, this has to be so fast. 108. Okay, that is really insane for only camping the Twisted Bow. By the way, they've actually changed Solra. When you start a fight, you can attack it way faster than normal. I'm actually going to show you guys in just a sec. Usually you had to run to this area right over here. You had to wait for like two seconds after it started and then you could attack, but uh, it's different now. Alright, so this is kind of what it looks like right now, which is really cool. So you enter the boss room and then you walk over here and already now I can attack the boss, which is vastly faster than back in the days when I did it last time. So this has to be a very recent change and I can imagine this changed it up a bit for the speedrunners of the boss. What is this drop? Literally only Solra scales. I mean, that's probably pretty good value. How much was this actually? 128k? Yeah, I'm not complaining. So after this one, I've actually killed 10 Solra, and it's been like 22 minutes, and what are we going to get for kill number 10? Very average, a lot of scales, again, I'm getting spooned on these scales, I guess, but uh, overall, that on rate that I'm going right now is probably going to be like 80 kills in the 3 hours, which is a decent chance of getting unique, at least. Kill count number 20, a very fast one. Oh my god, under a minute. That is actually a personal best as well. And a combat achievement, master combat task, only with a twisted bow. That uh, is kind of insane. I can only imagine how fast kills you can get if you have both a tumic and shadow and a twisted bow setup. Oh, we got the first drop. It's not a unique, but it's an elite clue scroll. And you know what? I'm actually going to be doing all of the clue scrolls that I get, and I'm actually going to be passing the timer right now, because I do not want to count in the time that I do the clue scrolls for this challenge. So at the end, I will open all the caskets. And the casket has been obtained, that means the timer is starting once again. Wait, how fast was that? That felt incredibly fast, and it was, I think, a Grandmaster achievement? 53 seconds! Oh, uh, we're speedy boys! The timing on this is kind of impeccable, I'm getting a kill almost exactly here on the first hour mark, and we are actually doing a lot better than I thought kills per hour, as I said earlier, I thought I was going to get like 80 kills an hour, but this is actually 29 kills in one hour, meaning I, on rate, if I keep this up, should be landing on 87 kills, which is definitely pretty good. And there is the halfway point of the grind, and we have actually not seen a single unique, which is uh, kind of scary. I would love to see at least one unique, and of course, uh, optimally, the Tanzanite Fang would be very nice to see, so I get to actually keep that as well. But uh, yeah, no unique just yet, but overall, the money is still pretty good from this boss. In a couple of seconds here, we are down to the last hour of the grind, there we go, that is now 59 minutes and 59 seconds left to go, and we have not seen a single unique yet, can we get something good on this kill though? Unfortunately we cannot. It looks like it's going to be pretty good timing here, I think we're going to be getting this kill on the 30 minute mark, and no, we have still not got anything, let's see, can we get something from this one? And we cannot. 
I really have been sweating these last three hours. I only have 10 minutes left, but I'm clicking as fast as I possibly can between the kills. Just look at this. It dies. I instantly pick up all the loot as fast as I can, click on the teleport, fix my screen so I just can click to the right side and then board the boat right away to get into a new kill. That's like, what, 10 seconds between every kill? Not exactly on the 5 minute mark, but uh, we are getting the kill here at 4.32. I might have time for 2 more kills, hopefully I do at least, but uh, it's not looking good. 1 minute and 49 seconds left, we get a kill. Can we get something? No, we do not. Do I even have time for another one? I'll, I'll do my best. At the absolute worst time, I have been noodling extremely hard. I think I missed like 6 shots in a row or something ridiculous with a twisted bow. But that is the timer. We did not get the Tanzanite Fang, meaning we lost the challenge. I'm going to be going through with this kill, but this is not going to count. It's very unlikely I get the Tanzanite Fang anyways. But uh, yeah, that is the first challenge of the series, Lost. I swear if I get a Tanzanite Fang now, I'm going to be so mad. All right, we got nothing. Look at the time, by the way. Two minutes and 42 seconds. That was absolutely horrendous. But I guess it wouldn't have mattered if I got it anyways. But as I did not get the Tanzanite Fang myself, you guys will get it instead. So I'm buying the Tanzanite Fang right here at the GE. It went a bit over the medium price. I lost a bit more money. But uh, yeah, that is now the Tanzanite Fang purchased for you guys. And let's see. What are we going to get from the Elite Casket? Let's actually turn on the game filter first. And we get... What is... Oh, we got a Mimic. Very nice. That was a long time ago for me. And that is the Mimic defeated. I used a blowpipe. Probably not the best method of killing it, but it works. The boss is so easy anyways. But this is actually a pretty decent chance of getting third age. I think like 1 in 200. So let's go ahead. Are we going to get lucky? We are not. But we did actually get a unique as well. So that is really nice. 25 extra Raynor weeds from that Mimic drop, but nothing too great. But with all that said and done, this is now the end of the video, and if you want to participate on the giveaway for the Tanzanite Fang, how you do that is on the screen right now. This is obviously the first episode of the series, so if you have any feedback on it, please let me know, but I thought it would be an additional fun thing to do, meanwhile I do my own drop rate series. Sometimes I might have some massive grinds to do there, and being able to post some videos in the meantime could be a good thing. Now for this episode, of course, we only went for a 3.6 million GP item, but in the future episodes, I could definitely go for items worth up to 100 million GP, and that would, of course, be a greater risk than this one. But with that said, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to be updated on the future episodes of this series and my on-drop rate videos, and until next time, guys, take care.